Dr. Carranza, our, our European, American, <clears throat> excuse me, British and or other Western compromised pro-life organizations that have already failed, chronically failed to abolish abortion in their own countries, are they exporting their failure or attempting to export their failure to Africa or to Kenya? They without well, intending to or not regardless of their intentions is that happening it is happening but somebody must pity the western world in the was uh, um, pro life fighters no they accepted to be raped accepted to be raped it was not forceful they gave themselves out to lose they are faith to lose their spine they became addicted to being soft to being gentlemen with the murderers they allowed themselves to be to be i don't know how you say this english but what they allowed themselves to be is to be gentlemen with the people who are killing children and they do not want to speak a word that will be considered rude in the presence of these murderers. That is the disease the Western world suffered, the Western, the Western pro-life movement suffered, and this is what they are bringing here. And for the most part, part they are meaning well. They are they, meaning well. They, are, they even consider themselves beautiful, wonderful Christians, and they are bringing it up. They mean well. But they were made ineffective by a particular modus operandi. They were operating the wrong way. The pro-life way is the way of Jesus Christ. Is the way of changing your, your horse into a sword. Is defending your family even if it means using force. And when I criticize, when I criticize their language, um, sometimes, and, and their failure, and I talk about the historical record of failure in the Western world, the failure to abolish legalized abortion, I am met with sometimes behind the scenes, which I cannot document, efforts to subvert me, but I know they're happening, and sometimes I am openly confused of being un, uh, accused, accused of being uncharitable. And charity seems to be defined sometimes in a way in which the priority of, as you said, being gentlemanly or polite or civilized towards the people killing the children is held to be a higher priority than the defense of the people being killed. Have you noticed this phenomenon? It is starting in Africa, and we must stop it. And it's taken over 50% of the fighters. They have become polite. Polite to a fault. They do not want to say something that will annoy somebody. What do you think about this analogy? My father was a senior elder in several different churches over the past 25 years. And in certain denominations, we exposed Sunday school teachers, uh, leaders, other people in the church who we found out were chronically and over decades in some cases molesting children, boy children or girl children, sometimes their own children, sometimes other people's children. And in each of these cases there were people, including wives, women, wonderful seeming people involved who were not doing the molestation directly, but they were covering for these people out of a sense, a misguided, almost a madness of politeness, where they couldn't break those parameters to say the things that needed to be said and to do the things that needed to be done and to expose the people that needed to be exposed because of the victims, because their lifetime of experience at being polite held them back. They had no frame of reference for how to break out of that bubble or that habitual politeness, which became something grotesque in the context of the crime that was being committed. Is this an apt analogy? 
absolutely a repetition of what you are saying. And especially the loss of faith. Because the faith in Jesus Christ abhors politeness. Does Jesus ever become angry? Oh, he takes a whip and whips a whole lot of people out of desecrating his father's house. Jesus gets angry severely. Should we stop the people killing innocent children whether they repent or not? I calling them to repent and I want to be very very clear about here. They people can only repent what they did by mistake. Deliberate actions of evil must be preceded by reparation. Unless you repay the damage you have caused, unless our God is a joker, you repenting, what? You keep my goat and then you want to repent, bring my goat first. Mm -hmm. And then you can repent and don't do it again. But bring my goat first. The Western world must demand the holiness of their families to be brought back by force. Have they emasculated Jesus? Does not, he does not exist. You can't emasculate that which does not exist. But I mean the Jesus in their mouth. The Jesus, I don't mean the real Jesus. Yes. I mean the Jesus they are <laughs> preaching. The Jesus is like, 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 like fries. Yeah. Jesus. Like fries, give me fries, give me Jesus. Jesus, I love you. Chips, I love when they have more salt. Jesus concept. Jesus, our Lord, is a whole serious business. You never mention his name in vain. The Jesus you hear people talking about is an advertisement charade. They are selling something. It's, on, like, it's like KFC. Oh, it's like McDonald's. Yes. It's like McDonald's. Yes, they're yeah. selling something. They are not talking about Jesus the Christ. They are not talking about the Son of God. They are talking about some about a sales, the thing they are doing, which who, whose name is Jesus. Okay. What it, this is too big. <laughs> All right, what is your prescription in a nutshell, in a nutshell, the short version, for abolishing abortion in Kenya? Kenya, abortion in Kenya is going to be abolished and must be abolished. Legalized abortion. Legalized abortion is going to be completely abolished. No half measures. Abolished. Because without abolishing it, then it is here. Is going to be abolished number one by tearing down that part of the constitution that talks about it and throwing it away and never allowing it to be put in our statutes again number two all christians must refuse and i call them to violently refused refuse to respect or accept in a law that does not protect the unborn. If it exists, you must disregard it. And you must not only arrest those people who push such a law, but you must also take their property and chase them out of the country. Give the property to their victims. Give the property into the fight of getting them out of the country okay, because they must okay. get out of the country. Okay. And this fight is going to cost money, is going to cost lives. Uh -huh. and, I, and I do not want anybody to cheat themselves uh -huh. that they are going to give in without bloodshed. 
And if any pro-life person fears bloodshed, please go away. Go away. There's already bloodshed, by the way. Babies, dead babies are strewn all over the place. For the sake of God. The blood, innocent blood, is flowing down like levers. Blood is already flowing. There is going to be more blood. Only that this time, it is going to be the blood of those people who have been killing children. The killers. And it must be done. And there is no shortcut to answer this. And they will be told so that the testament is clear. And if they refuse, some of them have no legs to stand on anyway. Uh -huh. Look at the crippled ones like Mary Stops. Mary Stops should not take a week to get out of this country. IPPF should not take a month to get out of this country. It can go back to Europe, go back to London, and to America where it is started the mile with Margaret Sanger. Get and the hell out of this country. Oh, is it too strong? There is... Oh, that is not <laughs> stating it properly. They must get away with everything and all there and never come back. Abortionists, get out of this country and stay away of this country and never come back here because we are going to protect our unborn children. There are some people who have said or they strongly imply if they don't say it outright that African states and African Africans like Kenyans like yourself have no uh, moral right to convene or establish a war crimes tribunal. The way the West does after World War II, the Nuremberg Tribunal, UK, US, USSR, to try the Nazis, for example, or the Japanese, for things which were legal under their governments, and yet were categorized as war crimes. And now they do at The Hague on a regular basis, dragging uh, Africans or third world Eastern European leaders before The Hague in the Netherlands to try them. They claim that moral authority, and yet they imply either by their silence or by the things they say and do that Africans have no right to do that. That Kenya, for example, and Tanzania or Tanzania and Uganda have no right to convene a tribunal to judge or adjudicate crimes against humanity, especially when it comes to crimes committed by those European or Western nations. What do you have to say about that? Whose morality? Whose moral authority are you referring to? The, Africa, the Africans are not tied by the white man's moral morality. Mm. They have no morality anyway. Mm. Yes, and whatever they call morality does not apply to Africa. Mm. They may not, they know nothing about Africa and Africans. They know a little bit about the little confused Africans that they have educated and trying to transform their minds mm. into slaves. Mm. But uh, they have no idea about the morality of Africa. There is a country called Rwanda, who had genocide in 1994. This country threw away the Hague thing that they brought to Tanzania and made their own courts called the Cheche, which is completely African conceptualized, which sorted out all the cases that needed to be sorted out within five years. The white man has no understanding. He has no capacity of understanding the African mind, the African man. He has no capacity because he, he knows nothing. Africa is the world of survival. Africa is where you live and let live. Africa is where you confront a lion to protect your family. Africa do not need the white man's morality. Africa has decided the white man must go away. Many years ago, my own fathers told the white man with his guns, white man, time for you to leave our land. 
and they attacked him with their bare hands, with swords, with spears, and with his guns, he was run to the ground. We have a history. We don't die easy. And we don't give in to intimidation. We are going to set a court. And we are going to drag them into these courts. Who are them? The bingos. So and, they are, and they are local collaborators. Collaborators. We are going to bring them in front of this tribunal and we are going to form it and read and follow this pace. We are going to form the African Tribunal on abortionists and anti-life forces and especially the Western engineered groups. So these are these are war crimes, specifically abortion, legalized abortion, mass contraception, poisoned vaccines. Oh, especially those ones. And the cowards. And don't think they, that is why when you go out there, and especially when you go back to America, remind them that because they have no morality, they can't have moral authority. What? Authority, maybe. But moral, no. Do it's we... like power. It's not authority. Yes. It's like the power that's in your, the snake. Yeah. Has power, it, 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 yes. but not authority. Not authority. Yeah. We are going to stop this thing. Now, what about the, um, the Biden administration, the Western governments, the EU's attempt to strong arm African nations and other peoples of the world to decriminalize sodomy? Is this genocidal? I was in Europe when Obama became the president of America. And a lot of Africans that time, erroneously, actually celebrated. But I gave a news conference in Europe when Obama, this day Obama was being sworn in. And I said this. Somebody asked me, you are Kenyan, you are very happy. Yeah. Uh, Obama has some roots in Kenya. And I told him, yeah. I am extremely sad about america one is that obama is not kenyan number two is that if he came would chase him away mm -hmm. number three abortion um, um, uh, obama is an abortionist mm -hmm. obama respects sodomites in africa you killed for sodomy and here i tell you i'm a kikuyu myself mm. amongst the kikuyu from the beginning of time a sodomite was killed the same day. Killed the same day. Amongst my people, there is not even going to court. A sodomite is a creature that cannot be allowed to sleep one more day. In the community must be killed the same day. Now, before you tell me that I'm talking as though I'm not a civilized doctor, <laughs> I am going to repeat it again. I am Kikuyu. And I was a Kikuyu before I became a doctor. Mm -hmm. And I will kill a sodomite today if I find him. The Western countries can go wherever they want to go and Biden and that Kaharis of yours, of the deputy of his, can do whatever they wish to do, but there is one thing they must know in Africa. Sodomy. This is not Europe. This is not America. You can't bring your crazy things to Africa. Especially amongst the Kikuyu, I promise you. Law or no law. Constitution or no constitution. Attempt. Sodomy will kill you the same day today thank you don't even think about it you spoke about obama i think you may have heard you know malcolm x was assassinated uh, some yes. decades ago yeah we always hear about Do reverend dr martin luther king jr yes and his assassination yes tragic assassination 
but we hear less about Malcolm X, and I think it's because some of the things he said were, were more razor sharp than some of the things that Dr. King said, yes. on some occasions. Yes. That's my opinion. I'm not yes. putting words in your mouth. Three days ago, the family of Malcolm X uh, brought letters and evidence that the FBI may have been involved in um, the same institution which, as you know very well, had me uh, illegally detained in Nairobi uh, a year and a half ago, uh, may have been involved in his assassination. But Malcolm X, you brought up Obama, and it made me think of something that Malcolm X said. Malcolm X said, to paraphrase him, that there are two different kinds of black Americans. There's the house nigger and the field nigger. <laughs> I didn't say this, Malcolm yes, X yes, said yes, it. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And the field nigger is that nigger who's out there working in the field during the days of slavery, who doesn't have a choice, and he's doing back-breaking labor, he's picking the cotton, he's harvesting the crops, and he's being whipped, and he's living hand-to-mouth. Uh, but the house nigger is the one, the black American, who lives like the master, because he's developed that relationship where he deliberately defends the interests of the master, even he doesn't even know the distinction between what happened between to the master and what happens to himself. And so I'm not putting words in your mouth, but that I'm suggesting that uh, in the paradigm that Malcolm X gave us, that uh, Barack Hussein Obama is a, a house nigger. That's what I had to say. I wanted to comment on that. <laughs> this interview is about you. I want to thank you for the interview. And I, I, if you have I, I, anything I, I, to add. I wanted to yes. add this. But you know, Jonathan, yeah. you are so American. Mm. Because you, it doesn't matter how much you struggle, you are still very polite. Mm. And this politeness of an American warrior mm. is what we must remove from you now that you're in Africa. Okay. You, we ca you can't afford to have that. All right. It is not saying that it is as if the FBI and CIA had something to do with that. That's how you put it. Uh -huh. It is not like that. The FBI and CIA had everything to do with the assassination of Malcolm X. Well, I don't know because I don't have the facts. You don't need yeah. the facts. He's dead. All that is right. fact. All right. Yes. All right. and when somebody dies, you don't need any other fact. They are dead. When a baby has been killed, I don't want evidence. I know Mary Stops have something to do with it. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. IPPF mm -hmm. have something to do with it. Mm -hmm. I know American and European bingos have something to do with it. Uh -huh. I do not need any evidence. Uh -huh. When a sodomite does his thing, on the list of anyone in my community. Uh -huh. I don't want any other evidence apart from he has committed sodomy. And by that, they will, the jury sat a thousand years ago and said he must die today. There are evangelical Christians right now in the pro-life movement who are defending sodomy. I'm bringing this as a first-hand witness. I've heard it from their mouths in person, and I've heard it through uh, social media repeatedly. And I've been attacked for defending those countries on earth, most of which are in Africa, which still criminalize sodomy. Many of them coming from, uh, at least formally, even though, as you said, for Kikuyus and many others, it is traditional going back thousands of years. And, a, and in a biblical route, but many of them, the official laws are coming from British common law, which has been repudiated by the British themselves, and yet lingers in the statutes of many former colonies. Having said that, I am facing pro-lifers, evangelicals, even a few Catholics, uh, who are actually advocating that these laws be repealed, these laws making the act of sodomy a felony. And my response to them has normally been to say that, that uh, in Leviticus, Moses said that the, that the prohibition of sodomy is universal. In other words, it's not like the special laws given to the Jews. It applied to the Canaanites, just like the Jews, just like any person. Moses said the land would vomit out the people who allowed sodomy. And they are repudiating me 
and rejecting me on that basis. I don't know if you have a comment about I, this. The only comment I have this is America is surviving on something they call the green card uh -huh. because Americans cannot produce babies Reproduce because they babies. started having sodomy. Uh -huh. Sodomites don't produce children. They yes. produce stool. Yeah. They don't produce babies. Even with a woman? Obvious. They produce stool, yeah. not babies. The sodomites of America killed the American family. In a country that, that practices sodomy is on its death no. Can people who defend contraceptives have any moral authority over sodomites? They can't, because if they oppose contraception, it is because they defend the family. It's because they consider a woman as a very special creation by God and will kill to protect her from being cannibalized by businessmen. So the sodomite can say, can't he, to the, to the Christian who promotes contraceptives and yet wants to restrain the sodomite, saying, why are you restraining me? Because you poison your seed. Why should I not be allowed? They are not Christians. They are not talking to Christians. Uh -huh. You can call yourself the Queen of Sheba, uh -huh. you, Jonathan. Uh -huh. that, that, that does not make you Queen of Sheba. Uh -huh. You can call yourself whatever you want to call yourself, but you will know the truth, by, the tree by its fruits. Because God creates conceptions. Correct. Not only that, you will know a Christian not by what they say, but by what they do. The things you are calling Christians are not Christians. They are calling the evangelicals you are talking about. No. They are not Christians. No. No, they are calling themselves that. They could be sodomites for all you care. And you can't Some be Some of them have and, been publicly uh, recently and, exposed as uh, being sodomites. And you yeah. can't be a sodomite yeah. and be a Christian at the same time. Number two, before modern Christianity was had in my community, before my community knew any other communities except our neighbors lived mm -hmm. thousands of years ago before our lord jesus christ was born our laws that control our community were written by what we call muangiwairegi they wrote the rules and one of the law is that if sodomy ever happened the sodomite must be killed the same day that is when the verdict was given. What we do today is to carry it out. Watch out whether you are a Christian or who you are. Practice your sodomy outside the Kikuyu community because we will surely kill you today. Will be there the consequences? Who cares? Bring them. But we will not allow a sodomite in our community. Will they, but what if they are bishop? Bishop of what? They just call themselves <laughs> bishops. They are not bishops. Mm. You can't be a bishop and be a sodomite. Because you can be a bishop of some tree worship in America mm. or somewhere else, but not in the Kikuyu country. We will kill you. Sodomy is evil. Sodomy is anti life. Sodomy is so evil, it is satanic. I do not, Satan has never been accused of, of, of involving himself in, 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 in sodomy. Sodomites are worse than Satan himself. No, I'm not being un insensitive. And you may think, Jonathan, that I am ignorant and do not confuse my skin. I am an extremely highly educated human being. Uh -huh. I am at the top of my profession. I am a practicing consultant, obstetrician and gynecologist. And I tell you today, a sodomite happens in my village, we'll kill him today. No question. Will the police come? Let them come and we shall tell them we killed a sodomite because it should be killed. It should be killed. A, a sodomite dehumanizes himself. himself it becomes it you can't call him he 
Even the John the Revelator calls them dogs. Yes, <laughs> it is it. It's not he. And I tell you in America, I tell you in the West, before you bring it here, I tell you, you have no choice. You have to hunt down Solomons in your own country, incarcerate them till they all change. Because remember, it is not genetic. Remember, How can something be genetic? Is that it is not genetic. They have decided. How can something be genetic when when when, when they are not engaging in sexual reproduction? <laughs> it is not genetic. Yeah, they did not get it from their from their forefathers. They have decided to defy society and society must vomit them out of society. In a society that allows sodomites to survive is a society and to death. It is a society that is going to die. I tell you, I'm happier fighting killers like abortionists. Mm. But sodomites, I don't even fight them. You kill them. You must kill them. You must hunt them down. They are plague. They are a disease. They are disaster. They are not demonic. They are the demon himself. There are, there are Africans who think that <clears throat> Africa is immune to um, legalized sodomy. But in fact, as you know very well, the communist, South Africa. The communist Nelson Mandela legalized both abortion and, uh, and sodomy. Yes. Immediately. And to this day, I myself have been hit upon yes. by black sodomites yes. in the streets of Johannesburg. Yes. I myself yes. Have, been, have been hit upon yes. by them. Uh, why do uh, why do Africans because worship Nelson and Winnie Mandela? Because Mandela is the worst creature that crawled out of the walls of prison in South Africa. The thing that came out of that prison is not the thing that went in. Mm. The thing that went in was Mandela. While inside they converted this poor man into a creature that came out. He was not Mandela that came out. Mm. And, 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 and it is unfair to call him that. Mm. Because Mandela died. In Many prison. years. In, in prison. prison. Yes. Okay. He died in prison. Okay. And what came out was a caricature of an individual okay. who was not a leader of anybody. Okay. In fact, he got a part of Nobel Prize. Can't be Mandela, can he? No. no. In Africa, just like in Europe, just like in America. Remember the Mammons, who are the first people who came to America? They would not accept a sodomite amongst themselves. That's that's not true. It's it's the it's the the the, the, the Puritans. The Puritans. The Puritans. Yeah, yes. the Puritans would not allow that. No society of sodomites has ever survived because they do not produce children. Start, start again, please, if you don't mind. Yes. Remember the Puritans. Yes. Yeah. Start again, so, if you don't mind. The Puritans who started the American Republic as we know it did not have sodomites amongst them. And that's why America grew. And was blessed. Yes. Now, America for the last 28 years has been going down. Mm. America 28 years ago started the green card. Why? They couldn't support their own pediatric industry. They couldn't run their own industry. Why? Because they had for forgotten how to have children. Now... There were green cards before then, but they expanded that program. Yeah, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Now they can't survive. Now Canada is on to them. All countries that have accepted is sodomy. The dying demographically. They are dying demographically and they will die. And I promise you that in this country, when some of us and our children are still alive, the bingos have a big problem because we have inculcated in our children the concept of a people alive. A man and a woman having a child for tomorrow and we have repeated the rules of our ancestors and the rules of our ancestors have some things you don't touch you don't touch contraceptives no. you do not kill babies 
you do not allow sodomites to live if it happens the sodomite must be killed the same day that is why in my opinion you will have a legacy as africans and if the west doesn't have revival repentance sincere repentance and what you have said this repudiation of an arrest of sodomites our only legacy is an inseminated turd god will not allow it you are there jonathan yeah. you are american the years i have known you i have seen a renewed sword of the lord <laughs> flaming over america and there are others out there there's a big remnant oh yeah, you, they lord. are there thank they you, are yeah. there the only thing i tell you refuse anybody who tells you not to have children the remnants that god has left in america is enough mm. to repopulate america all okay. over again okay go back to bed and have children okay and do not take contraception okay. and do not allow at least you are luckier you are allowed guns one day i pray this country will allow me to have a gun i'm praying for because that because if i, could not I bring it up, have I'm, it yeah. if i have it woe to them the sodom the sodomites and the abortionists would literally have to run on on foot mm. because i would be after them mm. yes thank you dr Kruger. i just need to have the ability and i will run out the abortionist out of this country we do not want to control abortion we want to ex to remove it we must remove abortion. you don't want to regulate it no yeah no we must remove it it is not acceptable it, it is like sodomy it, it cannot be regulated it cannot be accepted it must be extinguished like it was never there i finished my questions but you've made me think of another one the floor is yours, by the way. I've finished my questions. But the question I have now is, what I have seen, there's a self-perpetuating um, nature to what passes for a pro-life movement, which actually becomes a pro-life industry that works in conjunction in the West with the legalized abortion industry. And it, it, it revolves around regulating what you just mentioned, regulating legalized abortion. So that pro-life leaders are looking at a future where they hand on abortion opposition, what they're calling abortion opposition, to their children, to their grandchildren, with insurance plans, with retirement plans. And they live and leave a legacy of resisting abortion that is dependent on abortion being legalized because what is being called the pro-life movement in the West actually is dependent on abortion being legalized so that they can continue to perpetuate their ministry and the cash flow that supports their ministry. Are you understanding the picture I'm painting? I, I understand that it That dynamic, I have seen it. Have you seen it in play? It is starting, but it is unfortunate because we are going to exterminate it. All right. My grandchildren will not fight abortion. Me and my children have a duty to exterminate abortion from this country they will my grandchildren will not meet it here so they will have nothing to fight and if that means some people are going to lose their salaries from the uk the united states spain or anywhere else let it be let them find something else to do let it be yeah. let them die of hunger yeah. if they are crippled mm -hmm. and if they are crippled and they are truly crippled we shall support yeah. them like we support every other okay. person who is handicapped okay but a lazy person who survives in manipulating people to kill the unborn, they have no right to life themselves. And they they have two options. I'm talking about people who pro life leaders oh, I know. and organizations. I know. That they have two options. Whose cash cow, whose milk cow is whose abortion. Milk cow. Is abortion. Eh. They get paid to be by the same thing they want to reduce the gestation from when when abortion can be done as though if i if you killed me when i was two days i would be alive today they want 
they are, and, and they are and they can fight these in courts and what and get money and donations to fight these they leave off the blood of the dead children and they call themselves pro life i we hear even you have clearly. that cartoon we yes. have that cartoon that was made in the 1950s yes. famous cartoon in the us by yes. warner brothers yes. where the wolf and the sheepdog yes. are friends yes and at the beginning of the day they clock in chuk, chuk, <laughs> they put in their time cards, they shake hands, they have their lunch boxes. During the day they fight, at the night they clock back out, shake hands, yes. say hi to the wife, <laughs> I'll, see, I'll see you tomorrow. I have seen it. Pro-life, pro-choice advocates have a mutual it, dependence. Some of the most senior, Sometimes. I told you, no comment. Okay. In some questions you asked me. Okay. But I tell you some of the most senior so-called pro-lifers in this country live the type of life you say and that is why they will support every evil that we fight so that they continue to have their money they have made their money out of these evils and they keep the evil burning because it is what keeps I have seen very senior pro-life people giving contraceptives. They do not want to know that contraception is abortion. And they will fight unto death if you tell them that it is abortion and it is common sense. They can read anywhere. They defend it so that they make money out of it. The cash cow of these pro-life leaders is the abortion industry. It is here already. And that's why I told you a few times, I no comment, because I do not, I do not think that they deserve to be mentioned okay. in the same breath that says that sodomites should be killed. That the message I want to pass, no sodomy, no room for sodomy in this country. In the next five to ten years, no room for the abortion industry. I agree with you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you.